It still baffles me how often I run into brand new Sea of Thieves players. Though honestly, it shouldn't come as a surprise. Being that Sea of Thieves is included with the Xbox Game Pass, there always seems to be a steady influx of players checking out the game. And I think it's important to remind ourselves that we were once those new players as well. And that even if your crewmate is new to the game, you can still have a good time teaching them the ropes and earn some gold in the process. Why don't we see what Open Crew has in store for us today? What do you think, guys? A sloop, a brig, or a galley? I'm kind of feeling brig. Yeah, let's go with a brig. I think we filled both those slots. Nice, let's go. That mic, it's atrocious. Look, I'm loading you. I can barely hear anything. Oh, he's so adorable. Guys, we have to. Are you freaking kidding oh. me? I didn't string you my hand in the brick rolling hard. No, I'm down there right now. All right, I can't do it. He's got a buddy in the background. It's just not gonna work. One more try or else we're just going solo, I guess. Okay, well, I've been here for about five minutes and nobody's joined, so we're going back to a sloop. Why won't anyone sail with me? Penguin booty. Booties. What's up? How's it going? What do you mean you're new? You got the ashen trousers on. You can't be that new. I can't tell if he's messing with me or not, guys. Well, let's make this voyage memorable. We're gonna get a ton of loot, buddy. All right, so like, how much do you know about the game? Like, do you know the bare essentials or do you really know nothing? Okay, you know the essentials. Well, we're good to go then. We got this. Um, what do you wanna run? Do you wanna do Gold Hoarder, Merchant, Reaper, Athena? I'm down for whatever. Reaper? All right. I will warn you, it's not like I'm a PvP chat or anything, but I like to think that I can hold my own. So if you wanna get into some fights, we can. Um, let's see. If there's anything good up, doesn't seem like it. There's one other Reaper on the map. They're still pretty fresh though. There is a gold Reaper chest out there that we can kick this off with. So why don't we go do that? Let's grab this stuff real quick. Oh wait, does this not auto drop the loot off anymore? Oh, it did it for everything else. That's weird. All right, that's all of it. Um, so let's go do either, I guess the shrine or the fortress next to us. If I'm ever doing too much and you actually wanna do something like sail or cannons or something and I'm just running in your way, let me know. I'm so used to playing this solo that I just kind of run around and do everything myself. Oh, okay. You know what you're doing then. Okay, maybe he is new. Maybe he's just sitting here dry firing the pistol. The ammo management is a little uh, telling, which is fine. Everybody's got to take a little time to get used to things. I got gotcha. you. You don't need to respawn. Just give me one second. If you pick up any of those ammo pouches on the ground, you can refill. All right, I found the first key. So we can unlock the top. Yes, sir. I'm putting it all on the platform now, and then I'll just move it out to you. Looks like that's it. We can skip over to the shrine next door. And then if we're level five, we can sell after that. I don't know if that'll get us there though. We'll be close. Oh, you've never done a shrine? Oh, these are fun. These and treasuries are like two of my favorite things to do. Now, normally when you do these, if you're doing them by yourself, you don't really have another option. But if you're doing them with a crew, you usually wanna leave somebody on the boat to watch out for people coming by. Um, but because you haven't done one of these, we can both just go. Let's do it. In here, there are usually a couple sharks you gotta clear out first. Uh, I might have food. Yeah, here, hold on. So how this works is when we find loot, we put it in these statues that look like this over here and we can send it back to the ship once we're done. The main thing we have to do, if you come up to the surface here, do you see these markings up here? We have to match these markings to the statues underneath us. So we have to go down under the water and hit those statues until they have the staves in the proper spots. And then we hit this big one 
to get more water in here and go up higher. So it's chain low, diamond middle, coral high. All right, so now we wanna go up here. And then it's just another one of those puzzles again. And you do it from these markings over here. So this one's diamond low, coral mid, chain high. And then you shoot the big statue up top right over here. There are more sharks in the water now though, so watch out for those. I don't think we need to fight them though. So if we take these up here, we have another statue. Sometimes there's loot over on that platform, but I don't see any, so we don't need to go over there. Um, so to get through this, you just shoot the shiny thing. All right, and then this is the last loot room right in here. If you ever find a coral message in a bottle for a quest, it'll point you to one of these things. And uh, if you complete it, there'll be an extra piece of loot that's on these little red chairs at the end every time. If you press and hold F to return to ship, it'll just send you back up. And now we just swim out to that mermaid that's up here and we ask him to drop all the treasure off. Well, if we go back to that fortress next door again and run the same one, we can hit level five and then we'll be good to go. Just seems the easiest because it's right here. And also, if you come in at these things at an angle, then they won't be able to hit you. Like if you come at one of the corners of the fortress. Just a nifty little tip there. No problem. Still haven't found the top key anywhere. Maybe in here. Aha, here it is. I'm gonna grab the key out of there. You can take it up to the top. Got him, we're good. Okay, if you hit something with the harpoon and then you hold the right trigger for a little bit or hold your right mouse button while it's attached, it'll pull the front end of the ship towards it. Off to Reaper's hideout to sell and then we're good. Only thing is the seas are kind of hot right now. We got a Reaper heading towards us and we got two others in the area as well. They might not bother us, but that Reaper looks like it might. Yeah, we're just gonna sell it all. You can run it right into the center of the building and there will be a Reaper representative in there and you just sell it to him. I know, that's why it's kind of a pain selling at Reapers because you have to walk so far. So if you have a lot of loot or like a big stack of it, it takes forever to sell. I've stacked up enough sometimes that uh, it's taken like close to an hour to sell it all. that if you come in here we can vote down the emissary and we can get gold for turning that in too yeah we didn't do too bad yeah same i think i'm gonna call it here good voyage today man we made some pretty good gold all right i'll see you around